Hi everyone, I'm Alessandro, welcome back to Mr. Rizal Art and today we're going to explore a little bit about the Gradient Maps tool. So if you are a digital artist or if you're trying to become one, this video is for you. So leave a like, subscribe and now let's go. Alright, so here we are on the screen and as you can see I painted this uh, face and I'm going to apply Gradient Maps uh, to this thing so you can see how it works. But before that, I created this empty layer right here and I'm going to use this layer to explain some stuff to you before applying Gradient Maps uh, directly to this painting uh, because I don't, I don't want you to get confused. So here in this empty layer, I'm going to right click on it and then add and then we have here Filter Mask. I'm using a software called uh, Krita. If you're using Photoshop, you have the same tools and I think even more uh, than Krita. But I don't know if the path uh, to finding the gradient maps uh, is the same. So here in Krita is right click on the layer, add and then filter mask. And here you can see that we have a map and inside map we have the gradient map. So here I want you to pay attention to this horizontal bar, uh, not these little arrows right here, but only this uh, horizontal bar. Let me just increase its size so you, you can see it better. So this horizontal bar, it actually represents all of the possible colors that you can have on your canvas or uh, on your layer, actually. So here, the extreme left of this bar represents the color uh, black and the extreme right represents the color white. So one is the darkest color possible and the other uh, side is the uh, lightest color possible. And in between black and white we have all of the intensities of colors that we can have going from uh, the darkest uh, to the lightest. And when I talk about intensities of color uh, I think it's easier to explain uh, talking only about uh, values, uh, so the, the value scale. So in the case of uh, the value scale here we would have uh, black here we would have the darkest uh, grays around this position, here something in the middle between black and white, here we would have the lightest grays and here white. But when we talk about uh, full colors uh, in uh, hue, saturation and value, uh, for example, we might have a green color which uh, has uh, intensity right in between black and white, uh, let's say around 50% around here, and then we might also have other colors that have the same intensities. Uh, for example, we might have a uh, blue color which has the same intensity as the, the green. So this position represents all of the colors that have the exact same intensities. Uh, if you don't know what I mean when I talk about hue, saturation and value, you can check out my video. I'll leave a link here on the cards. So here I talk about RGB color model and its alternative representation uh, in hue, saturation and value. And now let's talk about these, uh, these little arrows right here. So as you can see I can glide these arrows and put them in any position uh, under these, uh, the, uh, this uh, bar which represents the intensities, the, this uh, intensity uh, scale that we have uh, right here. And I can also add uh, new arrows too. But now let's stick with only uh, the two main here, main ones here. So to this arrow I, I'm going to assign a color, let's say this color right here. And to this other arrow I'm going to assign another color, let's say this one right here. So then let me just increase the opacity like this. Alright, so what happened to this bar? So what it means is that all of the colors that I have on my layer or on my canvas are going to become these two colors or mixtures which are right in between them. So for example, if I glide this arrow like this, so all of the colors that have this intensity are going to become this specific color that I chose and all of the colors that have uh, darker, uh, let's say darker intensities, which are darker, are also going to become this color. And the same thing uh, happens with this other arrow. All of the uh, uh, colors in my canvas or in my layer that have uh, this intensity are going to become 
uh, this color that I chose and also the, uh, the lighter ones and all of the colors that have intensities right in between these two are going to become a mixture of, of these two colors depending on their, pos their positioning in this scale of intensities, this horizontal bar that we have uh, here. So now let me show you an example uh, with the painting that I've made. First I'm just going to delete uh, this layer here because it doesn't matter. And now I'm going to apply a gradient map to the base values of this face uh, that we have here. So here we have the base values as you can see I can turn on and off and then here I have the shadows, reflected light and here in this layer I have the eyebrows of this uh, face right here. So I'm going to add a gradient map to the base values. Let me see. Now here I'm assigning only um, the gradient maps to this uh, layer as I said. So uh, what happens if I merge all of the layers together is for example if I have uh, two uh, things in my painting which have the exact same values or the exact same colors but at the end I want to use gradient maps and make those two things uh, different if they are in the same layer I'm going to apply the same gradient map to uh, both uh, things let's say so if the eyebrows uh, uh, if his eyebrows had the same values of this uh, shadow part here then the eyebrows uh, would become they would have the same uh, color as the, the, the shadow area for example so you need to take care if you're merging layers, if you're putting, uh, uh, putting uh, things uh, together. So here I'm going now to assign some, uh, some colors to uh, the base values of the painting. So the base ones are like this, for example. This is what we had uh, before. And I'm uh, going to assign some other colors right here. So here, for example, I might put a uh, kind of red color I don't know something like this like his skin color maybe it's just too strong let me see yeah, something around here and then here you can put another color for example I don't know here's something more red something like this uh, let me glide this thing so as you can see there are areas right here which are a little bit more red because I painted in a uh, values which are a little bit darker so I want these areas to be uh, the, the nose, the cheeks, uh, the, the lips to be a little bit more uh, red than the rest so what I'm going to do is something like uh, this for example as you can see by using the gradient maps I can assign the color and change uh, whatever I want actually so I want something more like this a little bit lighter maybe now it's a little bit better I think or even lighter something like this I don't know something like this as you can see it's a little bit red right here and uh, I don't know if you can see that but uh, his forehead and the chin uh, they are actually kinda uh, lighter than the other parts so I'm going to apply a blue uh, tone to that to those parts let me see something like like this maybe but not too much as you can see the chin and the forehead and right around here it's a little bit uh, more blue now so I'm going to do I'm going to leave it like I don't know something like uh, this and here I want the eyes to be white actually so here I basically created a uh, gradient map uh, and I assigned the colors that I wanted uh, uh, really easily actually so let me change just some things right here like this I think like this is a little bit better so I'm going to confirm this so I apply the gradient map to the base values as you can see without the gradient maps and now uh, with uh, the gradient maps and now I can do the same thing 
to apply color uh, to the uh, shadows uh, too. Do something like this, just ad adjusting some stuff before. And here I'm going to, I don't know what color we can put here. Maybe some green, something like this. So the shadows now are a little bit greener or maybe red, more red. You can see that we have these uh, variations here. Let me see a uh, yellow. This, it's not a good yellow, this one. Uh, or purple. Ah, this one is cool. More like this. Let me see something like this. Closer to this. So, all right. Now we chose the color uh, to the shadows. And now let's do uh, the same thing uh, for the uh, eyebrows. So here, I'm, as you can see, uh, there's one thing that I want to show you here. Uh, let me just put the right colors in place. So this is basically the values that I had. Uh, so I painted um, uh, the eyebrows with these two values. So what happens if I uh, take this uh, black arrow and start to get closer uh, or, or move it to the right? So I'm getting closer to the, the value uh, or the intensity of the value that I painted uh, the eyebrows. So you can see that they start to get darker and darker and then they become completely black, which is the color of the arrow. So as you can see, it's something around here, the intensity of the uh, gray color that I uh, assign uh, to the, to the uh, eyebrows. So if I want to see how uh, this guy looks with uh, white eyebrows, I could do something like this. So that's how he looks with white eyebrows. So I can even make a mixture between uh, this white color and maybe not black, but a uh, brown color, something like this. Something like this. Uh, let me get this one closer. So this is something between, let's say, white and brown. So it's a light brown, something like this. I, I don't think this is cool, so I, I'm just going to leave it a white. And now let's uh, try to do another thing. Let's, uh, let's change uh, the color of his skin. Let's make him, I don't know, something like, let's say, an alien. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate this mask so I won't lose the, uh, the first one that I have here. So I'm, I'm not going to change the values, uh, sorry, the, the colors of this first uh, uh, gradient map. So I duplicated this gradient map and then I have one which is the same. And here, in the place of the arrows that I already have, I'm going to assign uh, new colors to him. So let's say here, he's not going to be red anymore. He's going to be another color. Let's say he's going to be purple or blue here. So he's going to be more blue. And here, his main color, let's say, is going to be green. Something like this. It's not pretty at all. <laughs> Let me change some things. Something like this. I don't know. Maybe a lighter blue here. Or purple. I don't know. Something. Or darker. I don't know. No. Lighter is better. And here we have our blue uh, for the chin and the forehead. So here I want, I don't know, yellow. So now he's a little bit more yellow here, blue and and whatever the color that you can actually assign. And there's another thing which is the, the mode that we are using here, it's blend mode. So blend, what it actually does, uh, we, are, we are applying the colors uh, which we chose here and also all of the mixtures uh, uh, that are happening in between the colors. If we change to nearest, what happens is um, the uh, the tool is going to uh, 
take uh, the, the values that I had here in my painting and he's going to assign to these values the color which is nearest uh, to the values. So in this case the green color is the main one here so all, all of the values that I, that I used to paint my uh, uh, this face they are closer to this green color so they are all going to become this green color. But if I get this, this other color closer, you see all of them, they start to become yellow. So here I have uh, values which are closer to this yellow than to this uh, green color. So I just get it back right here where it was. And there's this other mode which, call, which is called Deter mode. So Deter is, it, create, it creates actually a pattern. Uh, I don't know if you can see, I'm going to confirm here and going to zoom in. As you can see he created lots and lots of dots so he's applying only the colors that I that I chose here but the way that he is applying it is through a pattern so he's not actually mixing the colors he is just uh, creating patterns to assign the colors so here for example I have this kind of purple for these areas and we have the green right here so in, er in the areas which are between the green and the purple he's going to create this uh, patterns uh, to uh, create the illusion of the uh, changing colors so at the end it, it is something that looks like um, an old uh, computer game or something like that so let me move it back to blend which i think it's the best mode let me zoom out and here and here we have it basically so that what happens when you use gradient maps you can quickly uh, change and explore and study with colors so that's it all right so the gradient maps tool is just an amazing tool which you can use to uh, change things quickly whenever you need uh, you can make lots of experiments with it and uh, study uh, a lot of color theory using this tool. So if you have never used uh, this tool before, I think you should try to do that. And that's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, remember to leave a like, subscribe if you're not already. Follow me on Instagram at mr.weasel.art. Comment something down below, any questions or suggestions. And check out my other videos too. You might like them. And that's it for today. See you next time. Bye.